Chanting, prayer, and music fill the Capitol as people from all over come to participate in the 20th anniversary of the Million Man March. Basically, you know, to be here with my brothers and sisters, and we're all here under one accord, peaceful protest. This year's theme is justice or else. Or else our children won't get the education they need. Or else African American males will continue to be the largest population in the prison in the prison system. I'm standing here on the National Mall where hundreds of thousands have gathered to rally for justice or else. Some have been here since 6 a.m. and more are still coming in. People are here to celebrate progress, but also to fight for more. 20 years ago, we came for justice. 20 years later, we still come for justice. Today, families and protesters gather together to combat long-standing issues. Negative stereotypes, law enforcement that doesn't treat us equally. As an educated black female, I find it hard to find jobs that are available for white women. Recently, more police brutality has been uncovered. Delphine from Philadelphia understands this all too well. In June 2014, her son was killed by police. He was shot so severely, they wanted to do a closed casket. Her son, Frank McQueen, had apparently broken a restraining order and had shot an officer. All Delphine is asking for are his belongings and answers. You could call me and tell me my son's killing was justifiable, but you cannot tell me if he had gun residue on his hand. Give me answers. Delphine and others are looking to bring awareness to these issues and to create not only a change, but also pride. You know, we need to let our youth know and our young people know that it's okay to be black and it's okay to be proud to be black. Reporting from Washington, D.C., I'm Lauren Westberg.